chairman and CEO of the Container Store, Kip Tindall. Well, that's what we're trying to do at the Container Store, um, create a business where everyone associated with the business thrives. If I can anticipate the question some of the people in the audience might have, yeah, it's great to create a business where everybody thrives, but what about my bottom line? I mean, I'm not running a nonprofit here. Um, what about my shareholders? Uh, how do you reconcile that everyone around you thriving with just taking care of bottom line business? Well, we're at the Container Store, we're pretty passionate about, passionate about something um, that we call conscious capitalism, and maybe a lot of you have heard about that. Um, you know, Milton Friedman is, is famous for saying, uh, the only reason a corporation exists is to maximize the return of the shareholder. And we're like, you know what, Milton, with all due respect, I mean, I know you won a Nobel Prize and everything, but at the Container Store, we actually believe that if you put the employee first, if you really and truly put the employee first and take better care of her than anybody else, and I mean really take better care of her than anybody else, then she will really and truly take better care of the customer than anybody else. And if those two people, if your employee and your customer are, are ecstatic, well then your shareholder is going to be ecstatic too. That creates such a, a paradox, Kip, because you're saying your number one priority is the employees. It's not profit. But yet, by not making profit the number one priority, you actually can become more profitable. And, and the companies that, that do this so well, uh, that I started to list before, Southwest Airlines, Costco, uh, Whole Foods is a great example. In fact, crazily enough, the founder of Whole Foods, John Mackey, was my old college roommate at University of Texas. And then we went off and both started these retail businesses that have exactly the same business philosophies. And they've both done fabulously well, you know? You know, one thing that really struck me as I was working on this book with you is that you guys had been operating this way from the very beginning. It wasn't like you tried a lot of different techniques and thought, okay, let's try this um, everybody wins thing, see if that works. It was just kind of a basic generosity and... You know, I think, I think we just stayed true to who and what we were, what our um, life uh, philosophy was and adopted that to business. I was very um, adamant about the fact you can't have one code of conduct on, in life and then a looser code of conduct in business. They have to be, you know, one and the same. It's really an honor and a privilege to talk to all of you, and I just wish you the best. And, and business is fun. Go out there and have fun. You know, enjoy it. So, thank you.